Today, let's talk about home security. What's up everybody, it's PJ the Great. I hope you're having a super beautiful day. And today I wanna to talk about surveillance cameras. Something I haven't covered on this channel in a couple of years, actually. This is from the brand called iMoo. iMoo, or her I-M-O-U, however you pronounce it. This is their Luke or L-O-O-C version. They have quite a few different uh, cameras on their website. They primarily sell on the amazon.com i picked these up they were 45 dollars 99 which is pretty affordable and as of the time that i'm filming this video they have a coupon for 10 dollars off so you can actually pick them up for 35 dollars 99 which is a pretty good steal now i was looking to beef up the cameras around my home i got surveillance cameras on you know the outside of my home but they're pretty old like i said i did a camera review probably like a couple of years ago and I just wanted to get you know newer cameras and this fit the bill especially at the price that they're coming in at $35 can't beat it another one of the great selling features that caught my eye with this camera is that a majority of the cameras out there that you purchase they always sell you upon the cloud and imu is no different they have a cloud service that they sell you upon but you can also throw an sd card in here and it'll work just fine now i heard a lot of people complaining saying that oh they want to sell you the cloud service and it doesn't really work that well with the sd card the short amount of time that i've been using these cameras is working just fine with the sd card so I don't know what the issue may be, but it's working just fine with me with the SD card. So I'm loving that about this camera. I don't plan on picking up the cloud service anytime soon. The SD card is good enough for me. And you know what, let's go over the specs of the camera and let you know what you could be expecting if you decide to pick up one of these or a couple of these up. Some of the features that you can expect is H.265 1080p full HD, which is pretty cool. The H.265 is gonna be a higher compression, so it's not gonna take up a lot of space if you go to micro sd card route two-way talk so um, you could talk to people that you see on the camera which is pretty cool so if you could talk to visitors or you can scare away intruders motion activated spotlight so it has a spotlight on it that was one of the key selling features for me and it has a 110 decibel security siren that could be automatically triggered when someone walks across the camera or you can turn it on manually it is weatherproof of course if you're going to put it outside uh, it's wi-fi uh, memo and it only connects to the 2.4 gigahertz and you can do cloud storage or micro sd so i love the choices love the choice choices 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 <laughs> And of course, you can view everything via the app on your phone. So that is a key selling feature to the push notifications that you'll get on your phone. And it is compatible with Amazon Echo. Yes, I said Echo. Why can't a lot of reviewers just say Echo instead of triggering everybody's devices at home? <laughs> you can set it up to work with Echo so you can view like the camera especially like if you have like an echo show or if you have a fire stick you can even view it through your tv which is pretty cool so i love the fact that it works with that all right so without further ado let's go ahead and uh crack this box open and let's show you what you get inside i got it upside down because the camera fell out all right, so that comes off just like that. And the first thing we have here is a white box. And we get a bunch of screws here. Just the mount right here to mount it on the wall. Got some cable ties here. Got the USB brick, power brick, the quick start guide. What else we got? 
Got some gibberish here. The iMove, activate your warranty and get a free, I guess that's an e, e gift card. Important reminder, the security camera only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Okay, and then save the best for last. Here is the camera. Comes with a pretty long cable here. Let's move. I'll first show you the camera here. It's got a little protective film on it. Let's take that off. Let's get a better look. And there's the camera lens. Right there, this is the IR motion detector sensor there. Here is the LED, the light, and then the little indicator lets you know that it's working. I think that's there or it's either there. But that's the camera itself. And then here, got your little If I can get my fingernail underneath. Underneath here, you got your reset button, and that's where you put your SD card. Right there. Cable here. But there's the cable. Plug that into the brick. So, there is the unboxing. <laughs> kind of looks like a South Park character. Hurry! Hurry! Hello! Hello! <laughs> Alright, let's see how easy the setup process is for this IMOU or IMOU outdoor Wi Fi camera, the LOOC older version. First, we're gonna give it some juice. Alright, got some juice and then you're going to want to download this IMU or IMOU <laughs> Life app. So I've already got it. Um, you can get it in the Android App Store or I should say the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. So I've already went ahead and downloaded the app and created an account. That account is free so we go ahead and set that up and we're on the screen here gonna hit the plus symbol right up here to add a device and you can either add manually hopefully you can see that or scan a QR code um, there's a QR code right here on the camera so we're gonna do the scan the QR code and you're gonna want to give the app permission to use your camera and I'm gonna do while using the app then hit next that's going to say here, before you proceed, please ensure your device is powered up, which we are. The camera LED is flashing green slowly, which it is. And you have your Wi-Fi password handy, which I do. It's in my brain. All right, so let's hit next. It's going to search for the device. And there's our device down there. And they hit connect and we're going to select our wi-fi network all right so i enter that in it says the device is connecting to the cloud i don't know why it's saying it's connected to the cloud because i am not signing up for cloud service i am going to put a micro sd card in here and i'll show you that process as soon as we get this all set up all right so i didn't show that on camera but it failed like twice I don't know what that was all about. So you can choose any of those preset names. This one is Side Yard, so done. Uh, you get a seven day free trial of their cloud search, which I'm not interested in. So maybe later. And there I am. Well, that flood light is bright. Let me turn it off. So you can do snapshot, which saves to your phone, speak while using the app. Hello. 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 Hello.
mad feedback record <laughs> um which goes to your device too and you hit that and so you can hear what's going on outside that's pretty cool you got a little gear here it's got your cloud storage i'm gonna put the micro sd card in here push notification thumbnails we want to get notified if it falls offline detection smart motion detection records videos and send notifications when motion is detected notifications must be enabled detection schedule motion sensitivity so you can do the sensitivity does it have like a you could do an activity zone so if you want to change the zones you can do all that here so you get an abnormal sound alarm you can do that local storage no storage we're going to do take care of that audio recording video password share device added to the home screen but I already got the app added to that the only thing I see here that I'm not liking let's go here is I don't think I can do it to notify noted notif 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 <laughs> notify me of just people reset button and your SD card slot Shows a little image in there to let you know which way it goes in. You can only go in one way. See, I put it in the wrong way. I won't go in. Just don't force it. If you put it in the wrong way. And should be able to. Yep. Click. There's our local storage. Format it. Says so we all format. So that is the setup process. Now I'm gonna get these installed. Oi. <laughs> So this is the audio and video quality in the daytime. So what do you think? Good, bad, and different. Alright, so this is what the camera looks like at night when it detects motion and LEDs pops on and so, this is what it looks like, audio and video at night. Now, as you can see, the setup process was pretty much easy. Uh, the install for me, you know, that all depends on where you're going to be installing it on your house. The install process for me was pretty easy. The cord was pretty long, I, you know, in a perfect world. I wish the cord was a little bit longer. I don't know why they went the USB route, you know, I'm not kind of not in favor of that but you know hey i can deal with it the quality in regards to like daytime the video quality is like superb night is really good with especially with the infrared but um one thing i really don't like is like when the spotlight kicks in it seems like it loses quality but it's all good it's like i kind of got the i have to make a decision on if i want to keep it on infrared so i can better see the intruder that might be in my yard or if i want to keep the um spotlight on and have the spotlight just scare the person away that might be in my yard i mean that's the choice do i want a better view of the intruder or do i want that spotlight to kick on to scare the ass out of my yard <laughs> so um i'll be playing around with that and see which way i want to go and how i want to use it for right now i think i just stick with um having a spotlight on and having a spotlight scare them away so i'm gonna stick with that
the push notifications are pretty good. I, I mean, I love the fact that you can select the ranges so you're not getting false notifications with trees blowing in the wind and stuff like that. When it does go off, it seems to go off in a pretty good amount of time. It's, it's not like triggering like, like 30, 40, 50 seconds later after something goes across the camera. It seems to be pretty rapid. I like that. I love the fact that it works with the Amazon Fire Stick. I love that. So it like, it turns your TV into like a surveillance system. Show backyard. Okay. Show side yard. Okay. So I'm absolutely loving that. I could be chilling in the living room or I could be chilling in the bedroom watching TV. And then if I get a notification on my phone, then I could just grab my fire stick, remote control, say, check out the backyard, check out the side of the house or whatever and see what's going on that way instead of using my phone love that feature think it's the bomb so what are my final thoughts what are my overall thoughts do i recommend picking up the imu l o o c every time i look at that it makes me think of ll cool j i don't know <laughs> do i recommend this camera i as of right now i do but i only had it a couple of days i want to come back and do a follow-up and say like 30 days to see how it's been working to see if i still recommend it as of right now the 35 dollars you can't beat that price but time will tell i'm gonna see after 30 days if I still like it, if it still works good. I ordered a third one to put on the side of my house because I have an issue with people walking their dolls and letting their dolls crap in my yard and just leaving it there. So I want to put a camera up there so I can catch them in the act, get on the microphone, clean up after your damn dog. So <laughs> I got another camera coming up, uh, be delivered tomorrow. So I'm gonna install that. So 30 days later, I will do a follow up to let you guys and gals know if this is rec if I recommend picking it up, $35 as of right now, I think it's a pretty good deal. And you wanna know what else? Hey, if you like this video, do me a favor and give it a big old thumbs up. But if you hated it, you can give it a thumbs down. But no matter what you do, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And it's been a hot minute, but I'm um, trying to get back into the swing of things now i think i got a little never mind you heard this all before <laughs> so let's see you in the next video this is pj the great saying audi 5000 g look into my eyes and tell me what it is you see who sings that song